So, okay, uh, welcome, uh, Math Jump 2020, and I'm Cesco Reale. I'm going to present uh, the fractal tic tac toe. Uh, please interrupt me uh, whenever you have questions. Uh, I will do a short presentation of about 10 minutes, uh, introducing where the, where the idea came up and uh, the rules of the game. Then I will uh, um, show you uh, the link, I will give you the link, and uh, you are uh, invited uh, to play a, a match, uh, so you can split in pairs. And uh, one match uh, lasts about 15 minutes, something like that. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, I am... Um, a math popularizer, so I create um, several different uh, exhibitions about mathematics, and uh, sorry, okay, and um, so this is uh, one of my exhibitions, um, the beauty of fractals, mathematic imagination uh, with art and nature. And uh, let me see if I can move. Yes, so let's go full screen. Okay, so uh, this is the um, von Koch uh, curve. Um, it's also uh, related to the to the snow snowflakes because it has this kind of uh, shape, and it is created uh, from a equilateral triangle. Uh, from each triangle you take out the central third and you substitute with two more thirds uh, creating one more equilateral triangle on the side and so on each side then step by step you go through and you get this this shape um, this is called also an auto, auto similar figure because one part is uh, similar to the whole and we can find it uh, in nature, for example, in uh, snowflakes. These are beautiful pictures by professional uh, photographers. And we can find it in art. This is an artwork, this is uh, another one, uh, inspired by von Koch. So uh, on, the, on the left you have a real fern, and on the right you have a computer-created fern uh, in which they just gave a simple rule to the to the PC to the computer, sorry, and uh, the computer created it uh, just repeating the step in smaller and smaller parts. Here, for example, the idea is uh, you go straight and then um, after a certain length you create a branch on the right uh, with certain angle and then uh, you go straight again uh, as, as another amount and then you, you create another on the left and then you repeat and then you repeat also in each of the new branches and so this is what you get so uh, from a genetic point of view uh, it's uh, this is the, the genius of nature that codifies with the small mathematical rules into the genes something that when we see it uh, we wouldn't define as a geometrical or mathematical form, but it's generated by a very simple rule. Uh, this is uh, from a um, Spanish artist, also it's a uh, computer made. This is a dragon curve. Um, you might have, you probably know it, uh, so you, you uh, fold into in two parts, then you do a 90 degree angle and then you uh, fold it again and fold a second time and then you open doing always 90 degrees and then you do the same thing a third time and then a fourth time etc etc and this is what you get the dragon curve and you can see also the auto similarity can, can you see it okay um, and also some more uh, artworks inspired by that. 
And so we get uh, to the counter set. The counter set um, is a, you take a segment, uh, you take out the central third, and then you repeat on each remaining segments up to infinity. Okay. Uh, when you uh, theoretically you get the infinity, you have something that is not anymore one dimensional, but is not even zero dimensional. It's something in between. Is uh, um, logarithm in base three of two. Uh, I'm not going now to explain house of dimension, but just just for you to know that uh, these strange objects have also strange dimensions. Uh, so well, I'm going just a bit quickly now. Some more artworks. Um, and well, yeah, I, I explained the dimension. And here you can see, yeah, some uh, some dimensions log two over log three uh, for the counter set. So the it's zero sixty three and counting dimension. Okay, so that's um, that's all. I'm going to skip Julian Mandelbrot sets. The it is in Italian, but I'm going to explain uh, the rules in English. Um, so the um, the the fractal uh, tic tac toe, the idea is uh, it is based on the uh, counter set, and. Um, so I already uh, explained how it works. Now let's see the game. Um, let's start here. So the game begins in this position. Um, so there are already uh, three pieces uh, already played. And then you have exactly four uh, free spaces. Okay, this one, one two, three, and four. Then um, the players play alternatively. So now it's blue, to, blue uh, it's a turn of, of the blue player. Um, and so the, for example, uh, the blue player can play here, for example, or here, etc. Okay. Now, um, yeah. Whatever sequence of three own symbols, consecutive symbols, uh, is an alignment and uh, represents one point. So here, for example, in the green ellipses, you can see this is one point because you have one alignment of three uh, red symbols. So the red has one point. In the purple uh, ellipses, this is also one point, even if there is a, a hole here, it doesn't matter. This still counts one point. But in the yellow one, these three are not one point because they are interrupted by a blue one. So is it okay so far? Fine. Okay. Where are the four places that you can play in the first set? There are four places. There are four places. Yeah, exactly. For places, then uh, here is not the continuation from figure uh, from the previous figure. Eh? So this is the okay. initial uh, situation. Uh, this is not an initial situation. This is just unrelated to the to the previous figure. It's just to show um, how you can do the points. Okay. Um, and then here, what I want to show is that in the purple uh, ellipses, the blue has played in this um, field, and so he broke the point from red. So now the red has one less, one point less than than before. Okay, and uh, so basically this is the end. The last thing you have to know is that at the end of one level, uh, so when there are no more free spaces, who is leading 
wins the game and the game is over. But in case of uh, equal points, um, Yes, exactly. Um, in case of equal points, then the new level is open and you continue playing. So here, for example, uh, if uh, red... So this is the last free field. So once red plays here, you see that automatically the next level is open. And so you have one, two, three. Three, four, five, oh, six. So I missed the diagram before. So we play in the gaps between the hyphens, not on the hyphens themselves. Exactly. You you play uh -huh. in the uh, in the um, gaps between the 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 hyphens. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So here at the beginning you have four fields: one, two, three, and four. Okay, and. Um, and so here now you are in the following level and so you have one two three four five six seven and eight new fields and though and then again you you play and then at the end of the level if uh, there is a draw a new level is open automatically otherwise who is leading wins the game so these are the rules uh, just a few last uh, comments um, you you should uh, insert here the name uh, of the match that you want to play, like uh, Andrew against uh, uh, Chesco, for example, <laughs> or whatever. Um, then uh, the program doesn't control automatically the person that moves, so it's up to you to alternate the moves. Okay, and um, also you have to refresh the page in order to see the new move. Um, you also have the back button. It's in Italian is indietro. This means back. So you can uh, cancel the last movement. And then you have uh, some buttons for um, <coughs> for playing. So and I, I, will, I, will, I will show you. So, so let's say Cesco test. I will just Voila. So this is the uh, the game, okay? And so here, for example, uh, now it's uh, blue turn, so I can play here, for example. And then red, and then blue, and then red. Now the new level will open. Um, no, will not because blue is leading, actually, but... So in this case, blue wins, okay? But then, anyway, if you, go, if you want to go on, you can click and go on. So, in this case, uh, blue is winning 1-0. Now, for example, red plays here and... Uh, sorry, blue plays here and goes 2-0. Uh, then red goes here and interrupts this, so breaks this uh, alignment. And so, blue goes, goes back to 1 and so on. Okay? What I think... I mean, I wrote you in. I wrote you in a, an email. Uh, Thank you. Local chat. So I wanted to find out more information. Yep. Um, so this can can this game go on ad infinitum indefinitely, basically, if you had infinite memory and a computer. Yes, exactly. It, it was conceived to be a a, um, a transfinite game or transfinite game, uh, like the yes. entrepreneurial chess from Berlekamp. Uh, this is another uh, of the rare cases of transfinite game. Uh, and, but, yeah. okay, the, the, the aim is a didactical aim. So we want to um, make people play with fractals in order to, uh, you know, to better understand, to better... Um, and, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, uh, we, we conceive the game in order to be transfinite. Yeah. So potentially very, infinite. Very, 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 very. So basically, you 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 actually you, you, um, design invented the game. You actually yeah. Um, came up with the ideas. Yes. With very interesting. Very yes. Interesting. So basically, the whole idea. The whole idea. a bit late. The whole idea of.
trip putting colors in different positions was that is that trying to have um, the one that has got some kind of like um, I don't know parity wins the game if your colors are more than the other person's colors win the game or is it well the, the final the final number is more or less the same <laughs> but uh, no it's actually the same but um, no, not correct. The, the final number is, at most, the difference is one between the numbers of blue and the numbers of red. But uh, the aim is to do alignments of three. And so the more alignments you do, the more points you do. And then finally, when you complete one level, if you are winning, the game is over. And if it's a draw, the next level opens up. So the alignments have to be between to be um, between different fractions, different fractional levels on a, on a numerical scale, don't they? Uh, refresh the same uh, uh, match with the same name. If you remember the name, it should yeah. it should uh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, exactly. So here, for example, um, the red oh, one. Okay. This is uh, like also uh, already a new role, so maybe yeah. you want a new role? No, 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 keep it, keep it, keep it as it is. Uh, if you can just zoom in. Yeah. Okay, you see that, for example, uh, yes. here you have, in the middle, you have three blue, consecutive blue, so this is one point for blue. Yes. Okay, and then... Uh, Let's yeah. These are three point uh, one point for for red, for example. Mm. Oh, here maybe. Mm. Yeah, here is two points for red because you have four. So this means uh, the first three. One? Ah, you uh, three. even five actually here. I have three, I think. Yeah, I mean because five I five three. X's. You have five yeah. X's. So this means three points. Because you have the first three, the central three, and the last three. Okay. 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 Yeah. Be interesting to see what they think about this game. It's very interesting. Thank you very much. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? How do? Can we download? Is it? Do you have to pay for the game? Or is it? No, 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 no. It's free. There is a link. You can find the link in the in the local chat. There is a link. You can find the link in the in the local chat. And just yeah. if, if you play, just please maybe write to me later just to give me your comments, uh, positive yeah. or negative to improve it, etc. Uh, you can find my contacts uh, anyway on Facebook or on LinkedIn, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. whatever. I have a YouTube channel, so you can find me easily. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you discuss about? Do you discuss the game on your YouTube on your YouTube channel? Not yet, but I'm recording just the audio of this. Uh, so I mean, not the audio, the video, but without your um, cameras. So I, okay. I I I asked for permission, and so the participants were sure. agreeing sure. in that. So sure. of course, if you don't agree, just tell me. But um, uh, the I idea. Don't mind, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Okay. It was so very the interesting because very interesting. yeah, yeah, it's very interesting because very interesting. We we do, we do computer programming, so we do a lot of pure a lot of pure mathematics into programming. Mm -hmm. and, um, I I just think it's very interesting, very very interesting game. Excellent. So please please uh, write to me an email.